weed control. After seeding, in two, uh, 21 days, you have to apply what we call your herbicide. In that 21 days, you applied your herbicide to control the, the, the weeds in the area. And uh, also, if you don't do it within that 21 days of the applications of controlling the weeds, you will not have uh, the weed will overshoot and above the rice. And if that is, is being allowed, then you will not have uh, a good control of the weed. Why we, do we say this 21 days? Is because you will not allow the wheat to establish beyond the stage of the rice. Because at that stage, the wheat is still at the base of uh, the, 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 the rice. There are certain uh, uh, chemicals or certain uh, 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 types of uh, wheat controls, uh, uh, pests, um, herbicides that we use. Uh, we use something like <coughs> atromazines. We use it. And also, there is what we use as uh, before. If you have used what we call the touchdown uh, type of uh, preparation, the, the, the post-emergent, before you have uh, seeded your rice, there is no need. You will not see at the 21 days, you will not, uh, you know, apply uh, uh, the, the controlling of the weed. Because already you have done a pre-controlling of that weed. So you will only see your rice. And uh, also, we want to like, uh, you know, stress on it here. If you have a field, a particular field that you know that there are certain weeds that are very stubborn in that place, you have to use what we call the post-emergent herbicide to control that field immediately. The the field is being uh, pulverized or is being is being is being harrowed, so that you have a maximum control. Because I want to give you an example, like uh, some of this. Uh, in, in part of this field, we use that very control because we discover that the weeds that is being found in this place are very stubborn weeds. And uh, why we, when we use that, we were able to get a maximum uh, uh, result. And in that, we, you will have the best of your paddy. Rice cannot stand with competition, both at the nursery and at the few stages, because of shading from the weeds and competition for nutrients and water. Where there's water control, good flooding takes care of weeds. In upland condition or in paddies without good water control, herbicides like a virusan or resin control weeds in rice fields. Fertilization. In, in upland rice like this, per hectare, amount of the fertilizers you need to apply, it, but like um, when you are using your urea, you need not less than the uh, two bags of urea. And then you use your MPK in the basal application at first, you need not less than one bag of MPK to apply. And in applying your MPK, that has to be done in at the basal, just like I said before, at the basal application. After 10 days of your seeding, you apply that. Why do we, do, do we, do we say so? Some people will go along, you know, apply, you know, their MPK before their end fertilizer before even harrowing the soil and seeding. At that time, why we discourage that not to do that is that at that time rice has not been established because like fertilizer, MPK fertilizers, it is mobile to the ground and before the rice will, might have established, the 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 end would have uh, escaped from the soil. That is why we encourage as a specialist that after seeding, you should seed after seeding. After 10 days, the rice might have established, they have started establishing. Then you now apply your uh, MPK fertilizer. In that way, the rice have established and the root would have been able to take it up at that time and then take the grow. And then in the time of, you know, then use that as a top dressing. In time of your application of your, your urea, at when the rice is as uh, a matured stage, where the rice had been, we call it, in local terms as when the rice had begin to you know been like is swelling and uh, we call it pregnant some like local farmers they will say ah our rice have started behaving as if they are pregnant at that time the rice have started you know forming uh, a panicle what we call panicle and is the seed which you cannot see at that uh, stage then you applied your urea 
why do we apply our uh, urea at that time? We apply the urea so that the panico will come out and it will establish better. You have a better panic, uh, panico. Rice responds in all conditions to nitrogen, but the response to phosphate and potassium is variable. Application is about 20 cm depth where it will not be oxidized. In areas with obvious nutrient deficiencies, 200 kg of 15-15-15 MPK compound fertilizer per hectare can be applied at basal and at flower initiation. 150 kg per hectare will be applied basal and 150 kg per hectare of urea will be used for top dressing. Basal application is done one to two weeks after planting. Insect control. Insects such as Temboras, Amiworm, African midge attack rice. Control is by the following. Management of stubble by burning, plowing and flooding after harvest destroys lever. Intercropping with maize is found to be effective in reducing stem borers on rice. This is because maize and rice share common stem borer species. Insects such as carabids, dragonflies, and spider are no natural enemies of notorious pests and should not be killed. Use of resistant and tolerant rice varieties is also recommended. Harvesting. The crop is ready for harvest when the grains are hard and are turning yellow stroke brown. That is about 30 to 45 days after flowering or a month after 50% flowering. 